Hi guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here, StringBuzzWorld.org being a music journalism site, links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today, and it's the latest by Def Havana, and that's Fever. I'm going to refer to the original articles I usually do for these videos, so I hope you enjoy. So Def Havana are a group that I've always struggled to really connect with. Although I appreciate and respect their unique sound from years gone by, I always found their competition a little bit more exciting than perhaps they are. However, it's been a couple of years now since I heard a track by the group, so shall we see what I really thought of this brand new one. Well, the song is okay, but it's far from being particularly memorable. I enjoyed the intro, and I enjoyed the driving bass line, and I even enjoyed the vocal hook too, but everything else just came across as very bland and repetitive. I thought the drum sequences were all very safe, I thought the verse vocal melody was very plain, and the song form was pretty poor to hear unfold too. Production wise, I actually think the producer has done a great job here. Despite it being up tempo and frenetic, everything just sounds well put together and well mastered as well. The bass in particular is wholesome but not completely edgeless so they've done a great job there. The kick sounds great, the cymbals all glisten above the mix exactly where they should be and exactly where I want them to be. The vocals sound clean enough for me to hear the diction of each word but not too clean that they sound watery. And the guitars possess decent enough tones too. So really a good job in the production department. When it comes to musicality, the song is just severely lacking personality and or character. It does feel like any other group could have really made this track, and despite it being frenetic and fast moving, it never really felt aggressive or impactful or anything like that. The lack of bridge really hurt this song too, as the final chorus had no payoff whatsoever. I think some work on transitions could be done too, as the track plodded from section to section rather than developing, with a real urgency and power which was perhaps indicated in that driving bass line. Lyrically, the track was pretty cheap easy to, but I didn't think this was such a big issue as there were some lines that did raise the quality here and there. All in all, it's a pretty average rock track really. There aren't any defining features that I thought were particularly entertaining and I think there are better rock tracks out there at the moment. So I gave it a G rating of 5 out of 10 which is right down the middle, your average sort of rock track. If you like this video then please leave a like, subscribe to see more and I'll see you around next time. Bye bye.